it besties i'm so sorry to be so abrupt abrupt with this intro but this is i did not record an intro for this tutorial which is not really even a tutorial because i don't know how to teach people how to do things i just know how to show you either way we are turning these jeans into a denim skirt with a little surprise on the back um so first we're going to start with seam ripping the inner legs of the jeans and the reason that i seam rip instead of just cutting is because i like to maximize the fabric that i have people say less is more but when it comes to fashion and fabric like honestly more is more and you need more so take more anyway be real careful when you seam rip because you can cut some holes in the fabric if you are a little heavy handed like myself but here we are jeans ripped seam ripped now you have to adjust so you play around with the positioning of how you're gonna make the crotch areas into a seamless flawless um, skirt pattern if that makes sense so you just kind of like put one over the other and it'll create this like triangle type look you'll see in by the end it'll all make sense i promise but this part is the hardest part you know just making sure that everything is seamless and aesthetically pleasing and all of that good stuff so here i am just pinning the jeans together so when we're done pinning and sewing the jeans together we are adding tulle i did not show this part in the video but i went to the thrift store and i found this really big like prom dress and it had tulle like on the insides to make it more voluminous voluminous so I cut the tool out of the gown and that is the tool that I'm using to add to the back of the skirt. So there you are, you see how it's like over lined, like how I was saying earlier, it makes sense, right? So now, this is my first time working with tool, so it was a bit, um, not difficult, but it was a learning curve for sure. So here I am just trying to adjust and when it comes to sewing and making things that you've never made before, it's all about trial and error. So make sure you pin before you sew. Try to pin it in place as much as possible to get like the right look that you want. Because once you sew it, yeah you can seam rip the sewing that you just did but that's just so much more work that's wasting materials so just pin and do like a trial run you know like create a hypothesis and you know do a couple of experiments and then you'll come with your final result and that is just my theory on how to make clothing i am not professionally taught i never knew anyone who knows how to make clothing i learned off of youtube university and tiktok university um but yeah it's all about just experimenting and seeing what works for you that is my motto i'm going a bit slow i should have edited i should have edited i can't talk i should have edited this part before starting the voiceover because i could have sped through this but i guess it's best so you guys see like a real not sped up version of what i'm doing I am regretting showing my feet. I should not be showing my feet. Because we don't show feet for free. And look, look at me, I just pause. What am I doing? I'm just sitting there. I, should, I really should have sped this up, cut some pieces out. But here we are. Four minutes in. Okay, yes, here we are at the sewing machine. Now, this part was very tumultuous whatever that word is it was very difficult because my sewing machine is not like heavy duty so like thick fabrics like you can try but like be careful so i literally just sewed a straight stitch right across 
the bottom I mean the top of the tool to attach it to the jean skirt I don't know how I did this honestly guys that's why I said it's all about experimenting because I can't even explain to you what I just did I just stuffed it in the sewing machine and then give it a straight stitch honestly I could have done better the final result like I like it but I don't love it like for example like I haven't worn the skirt out yet because it's not really skirt weather but anyway like I think I'm gonna try this again and do like a different technique but like I said it's all about trial and error experimenting seeing what works for you seeing what's easiest and just having fun that is the biggest thing about creating and being a creative like everything may not be perfect and how you want it to be but as long as you're having fun throughout the process of what you're making i'm not gonna lie sometimes that fun includes crying because frustration like for me at least like i get frustrated but i love it at the end all right here it is the final result i'll rate it a six out of ten i feel like i could have done a better job but this being my first time working with tool i think i ate it's like business in the front party in the back I'm really feeling it this is gonna be a spring staple of mine i feel maybe not who knows thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe <laughs>